Ten Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Slightly mixed bag out here. The only indice that we track trading to the upside is Russell 2000, up nine points. That's about a half a percent. The Dow's off 231, six tenths. The S&P 37, eight tenths. NASDAQ 100, 167, one tenth of a percent out there. You got the spot volatilics up uh, two bucks. It's up over 10 percent right now. So We'll have to watch that end of day reading. If you get a one day rate of change above plus 10%, or you expect and anticipate is a bounce or bottom, at least a viable bounce. What you'd be looking for is some type of uh, bottoming signal, TD9 count, roads momentum indicator signal would be preferred out there. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Ed show. In fact, uh, because we're going to do that, let's just go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. So the ES mini right now, um, is struggling at a prior swing point. That's a swing point from uh, February 2nd and really the center of its weekly profile. Odds still favor, because price above the oscillator and change line, uh, that uh, price should go target the top of that daily profile at 46.25. Now, that is likely to be the outcome as long as that spot volatilities remains below its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days, 22.21. Price is printing at 22.07 as we speak right now. So as long as uh, spot volatilities remains below that 50-day exponential moving average, that is a bullish directional signal for the S&P 500 a la the ES Mini. In the case of the NQ, she is trading above the top of her daily profile and into that swing point from February 2nd, albeit on lighter volume, uh, but it likely is going to go at least test that high of 15,260. The U.S. dollar index had quite a uh, move today. It's remaining below the bottom of its daily profile. I believe it's 9501, 9510 um, is the area of its TD9 count breakout level. You've got gold trading above, just slightly above the top of its daily profile, likely on its way to about 1850, its descending trend line. Silver should target the top of its daily profile, 2392, and above that, its descending trend line. Light sweet crude generated a TD9 count top. All that's really resulted in is a side ways-ish type move. Price is pulled back to one of the support levels. It's a slightly bullish structured profile, so the support area is 87.02 to 80, 80, uh, 88.39. Uh, 88.39. Natural gas likely pulling back to its breakout level. I don't have that number memorized. And the 30-year Treasury should find support right here, 150.26, the bottom of its bullish structure weekly profile. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Set Show, but if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.